The Costco Anywhere Visa card from City isn't a card that has many videos about it. No, seriously, when I was looking for some of the most popular ones, they're about maybe one to three years ago. But after having the car for a number of years myself, I figured I would give it its due and ask if it's actually a pretty good card travel. What is good, fam? In this video, we'll be talking about the Costco Anywhere Visa card from City. So the Costco Anywhere Visa card is a pretty interesting card given its position. And when trying to decide if this is something you want in your wallet, there are a couple of things to consider. The most important thing is how often do you shop at Costco compared to grocery stores or other wholesale clubs or super supermarkets? You can think of your Sam's Clubs, your Walmart, your Targets. Those are examples of that. And the second thing to consider is can you make the most of, of the earnings on this card? Now, specifically, I'm basically asking, can you cover the indirect annual fee of a Costco membership? Now, for starters, the biggest appeal of this card is the cash back categories and that it has no direct annual fee, but more on that in a second. And secondly, if you primarily shop at Costco, this card will give you the highest percentage back without any of the extra hoops or limitations. Now, let me put a disclaimer out before I move on. I did some background research for other cards that cover wholesale clubs, and the Bimbo card can actually give you 3% back as Costco is categorized as a grocery store. Who knew? But the problem is it has to be your top category that month, and it caps you out at $10,000 a year, which for most people, isn't a problem, but it could be. You also can go for something like the US Altitude Reserve, pair that with Apple for basically using it for mobile purchases, but that car has a $400 annual fee. And I actually heard it's not the easiest car to get, but do not quote me on that. But anyways, with those out of the way, when trying to decide if this car is worth it, I think you should really ask yourself, can you at least cover the membership fee, which at the lowest end is about $60? Well, at least it is at the time of this recording. Now, hold on, let me think about this. Before I get ahead of myself, let's look at the multipliers of this card and actually see what you earn on it first. So the biggest multiplier you get back is 4% back on gas and EV charging up to the first $7,000 in a year and is 1% after that. You do get unlimited 3% back on restaurants as well as travel. And this travel includes your custom, basically airports, hotels, travel websites like Expedia, and also Costco travel, which is basically Expedia for Costco. I've seen a few uh, reviews on this. I saw one person, uh, Indigo Sahara, you might wanna check out her channel because she did a pretty nice review on her redemptions through Costco travel if you are inter interested in that. Do not leave my video first. I will leave a link in the description. But yeah, critically for this part, the card has no foreign transaction fees, which is nice to have, especially on a Visa card since it is accepted mostly across the world. As I learned in Southeast Asia, when I try to use my Amex. Yeah, anyways, there are other travel perks you can get. Uh, you can go to the website for that if you want to know more about this card, but suffice to say, it has you covered on travel. It also has 2% back at Costco and on Costco.com, which I actually think is pretty criminal. It should be 3% back, that's more than my liking, but hey, it is what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, show the like button some love, do not hit it, just click it. But yeah, with that, the basics of the card are now out of the way. There is one big downside to this card, well, at least, in my opinion, and that is the card's flexibility. And what I mean basically is that the cashback you get from this card is a certificate. And that certificate can be cashed out or used for a store purchase to cover, sorry, in the store to cover your purchases. But the problem is you only get this once a year. Yeah, the cashback only comes in one lump sum a year, with the cashback being released every February and expiring on December 31st of that same year. So that is something you want to keep in mind. But with that in mind, let's say you only use this card to shop at Costco and Costco.com and get that 2% back. Well, to break even basically to cover the membership fee, 
you need to spend about $3,000 on this card a year, which is about 250 bucks a month, which honestly at Costco, when I think about it, is not hard to do. So that alone is a good bet on this card. Also, by the way, if you want another view, uh, I saw a video from the Costco dude. He's a guy who actually works at Costco and has this card. I liked his review and I'll actually leave a link in the description on that and uh, some other resources you might want to check out. Do not leave just yet though. I got a little bit more to talk about. When I set out to make this video, I want to give a general overview of the Costco Anywhere Visa card and basically ask, is it okay for people who do occasional travel? Honestly, I'm not really sure if it can take a place of another cashback card or a points card in most people's wallets. But when I actually think about it, this card is perfect for the person who shops at Costco, they don't want a lot of credit cards, they like cashback, but they don't mind getting that cashback once a year. And when it comes to travel, like Sledge always says, you cannot buy food or go on excursions with points. So cap, having cash is a pretty good option. With that in mind, a cashback card like this would be helpful for a Costco focused setup. Okay, look, there are many 2% cards out there, but not many of them that give you the extra perks like the 4% on EV and gas and 3% on travel. All of this is on one card. And if you are a Costco member and you like simplicity, this might be the car for you. I hope that helps. And until next time, guys. Peace.